Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, how old is Rudy then? Is it? He... Rudy is six years old. Oh wow. <laughs> six years of mischief. <laughs> right, because you've been doing this a long time. How on earth did you get started? Uh, well, we started in 1980 uh, because our daughter, our middle daughter, decided that um, we ought to help. Uh, there were no uh, uh, British otters. They were all disappearing because of dirty rivers. And she thought that um, it would help if we got um, you know, tame otter and then maybe the rivers could get a bit cleaner if we campaigned enough. And um, so we got B, our first otter, and uh, we've all together had ten otters, including these two. Uh, this one um, was born in a very good place, but his mother abandoned him at birth, uh, so he had to be brought up on a bottle. Right. And um, and my friend passed him on to me. Um, Belinda here. I don't know whether you see Belinda. Belinda. See. She's 13 and a half now. Wow, goodness. Um, and uh, she and her brother came from a not very nice zoo that was closing down. Uh, so we bought them at a month old and um, brought them up in bed with us. <laughs> uh, which was really a good idea, really, because we had to feed them every two hours, you know, night and day. Yes. And, um, yeah, they all work very hard. They, they, they get used to the hurly-burly of the shows because they, they do it from tiny babies. Yes. And, um, it, well, we're going to meet the Queen, aren't you? Right, with the otters? With, oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're nothing without <laughs> our um, And we've got quite a busy summer ahead. Um, we'll be doing uh, about 30 different days, mm. I suppose. Mm -hmm. So is, are things better for otters now? Or are they... Yes, uh, um, now the countryside is much better. Um, in 1991, the government at last brought in the countryside oats. Yeah. And when that happened, um, Know, it was illegal to put anything non-organic into a river. But before then, the factories were just using our rivers as ditches, and lots of horrible chemicals were getting into the fish, and the otters were eating these diseased fish and, and dying. Yes. You know, collie wobbles. Yes. No. You know. Have you been to the wops before? Have you? Yes, this, yes, this, I came. Yeah. I think it was two years ago. I came purely out of interest. I understand there are otters further down in the Strand Valleys now. Yes, I uh, think so. Yes. There has so. been a release recently. Oh, has that? Yeah, <laughs> right. I got rung up by a woman who um, had lost rather a lot of her koi car. Oh, God, dear. <laughs> but she was very good about it. And she said, yes, she knew perfectly well that actually, you know, if you have koi carp, you've got to spend a bit of money on an electric current to keep them safe. Yes. But, um, you know, if anybody says to me, oh, well, otters take too many fish, I go back to what Spike Milligan told me to say, and that is, why not? Because <laughs> they deserve, they deserve yes. the fish more than we yes. do, really. Yes. Yeah. No, no.